let you know that what today is about is about you. It's about you and understanding who we are and why we are valuable. Have you ever noticed that sometimes, I mean sometimes, I mean really sometimes things go oh so good. You know, it's like, ooh, you go like two steps forward and you go, ooh, I look good, I feel good, life is good, I got that scholarship, you know, like all those scholarship winners. How do you calculate the return on investment? Some of you had your companies pay for you to be here. And you're gonna come back and they're gonna say, yo, yo, how was the conference? You know, you know same old, same old. Bumped into the same old, yeah, same old, same old. Why would we keep on investing in your attendance if it's the same old, same old? We're leaders, we are rare, we are absolutely, positively brilliant. We are absolutely, positively have been tough because just like a diamond, that is incredibly tough. The hardest natural material that there ever is doesn't need to do it to know that we're tough. And how many of you have gone through tough times? Or am I the only one? Pagin is a former gang member from the Bronx who turned her life around. With a thirst for new adventure, she lived and worked in Europe, eventually starting two businesses in Spain. Returning to the U.S., Pagin then earned her bachelor and master's degrees. Pagin is the first Latina inductee to the Motivational Speakers Hall of Fame. Other inductees include Zig Ziglar, Tony Robbins, and Dr. Wayne Dyer. She has been a keynote speaker with two presidents and has spoken at the Pentagon. With 30 years of experience, Pagin has been quoted in the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, and Newsweek. She has appeared on CNN, CBS, and Univision. The biggest challenge for me was I didn't think I was lovable. My mom loved me, but I didn't know that she loved me. Do you know what I mean? It's like I was so busy thinking that I wasn't worthwhile that I wasn't even seeing it. So that took time, a lot of time, a lot of work on myself, a lot of study, a lot of analysis of me, you know, not just going through therapy, but really working on me to say I'm lovable so I could be loved. I knew that in order for me to be the expert, I had to go to school. I had to, to finish my education, but I had left the gang, I had gone to live in Spain, I came back at 23 years old, I hadn't finished my education, I had to work, and so I had to do it the slow and steady way. I am a freaking turtle. I'm gonna go where I need to go, but it might take time, you know? But the day that I got it was really cool. The day that I put on that cap and gown and I walked in and it wasn't, so much that at that moment it was for me, at that moment, to see my mom believe in me, to know that I did something that I said I was gonna do, was really powerful. It takes work and passion and dedication and when everybody else doesn't want you to do it you got to do it anyway it's just what you have to do it's a power within me it's a power with all of us let's talk about what we're talking about today which is I am valuable and you are if you're stayed in Florida and you're in business here it is important what you do because it improves our economy if you're outside from the state, it's important to our country what you do. Meetings matter. Yeah. Meetings matter because it's where people connect, learn, and are educated. Meetings mattered because it's where people connect and find their next love. Meetings matter because at meetings people learn to be extraordinary leaders. Meetings matter because life is hard and rough and we need human connections to touch each other. Meetings matter because you matter. 
So here's, we're going to go through a couple of things that I want you to know. First, know your value. You have to know your successes. You have to know your strengths. You have to be willing to share your value. You have to communicate your value to others. But you have to be able to say it in a way that the people that are in front of you hear what you have to say. We've all experienced people who spoke to us when we weren't really interested in what they were saying. Am I the only one? Was am I the only one that last night somebody would come up to me and go, and all you think of this, what has this got to do with me? How does this impact me? Oh, would you please be quiet? I'll be nice, I'll smile. You do have to share your, your value, but you have to share it in a way that it uh, helps the listener be better. You have to substantiate your value. You can't just go out and say, you gotta show how you do it. You have to promote your value, please. We have to start promoting our value. Everybody has dreams. Everybody that's watching this has a dream. Sometimes that dream is hidden. Sometimes it's hidden because I don't want to give the time to it. I got to help somebody else. I got to cook dinner. I got to do all this other stuff. But the dream is there. Some people are watching this and they know it. They could feel the mosquito. They know that the dream is there. They're watching this because they're saying, I know where I'm supposed to go, but now what? So here's where she's going to go. In order for us to be who we are, we've had to kick our own butt. I know that for myself, man, there have been times, ooh, times when I've been wanting to hide under the covers. Times when I woke up in the morning and said, no, I just can't. Times when I've had to go and tell someone the truth. Times when the fear that was inside me was so profound that I couldn't do one thing. Has anybody experienced that? And I've learned that I always wanted somebody, somebody to come behind me and go, oh, go ahead, go ahead. But they didn't know that I needed it until I asked. So I've learned something in my kick butt experience. I've learned something that is so important. I can, because I'm a gem. Can you say that? There have been times when life has been rough, when life has been tough, when life has created some obstacles in my life, and I've said, kick your own butt, girl. I can. I said, what? I can. Well, throughout this day, you are going to be confronted, prodded, and provoked. You are going to see things in your head that go, ooh, I don't know if I can do that. You're going to say to yourselves, Oh, you are so not going to say it that way. <laughs> it's more with attitude. Remember, you know, I'm from the Bronx. I was in a girls' gang. What kept me survived in that whole gang thing was I had some attitude. They called me the crazy one. Actually, they called me La Loca. <laughs> and the way to keep me out of trouble was they thought I was crazy and they were too scared of me. <laughs> kind of what was happening now. I went around the table, people said, are you not going to take me up on stage, are you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what are you going to do for me? <laughs> so then you, what you're going to do is say, I can, because I'm a gem. The powerhouse CEO of Team Pagin. One 10,000-person Team Pagin event was the official anniversary celebration on the Mall Lawn in Washington, D.C., celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War, honoring and welcoming home for the first time the Vietnam vets with President Barack Obama and Master of Ceremonies Tom Selleck. Pagin has been encouraging millions to succeed as the author of several books, including Kick Your Own Butt and her latest book, Bragging Rights. Have you ever noticed have you ever, ever noticed 
that life sometimes can be a tad, tad difficult. You know what I mean? Like, like for some of you this morning, getting up, I noticed you weren't there. You think I wanted to wake up too? Have you ever noticed that sometimes, I mean sometimes, I mean really sometimes things go, ooh, so good. You know, it's like, ooh, you go like two steps forward, and you go, ooh, I look good, I feel good, life is good, I got that scholarship, you know, like all those scholarship winners. <laughs> but then sometimes, sometimes there's that time where you go that one step back. You know what I'm talking about? But see, us as Latinos, we're lucky. We've been doing that dance our whole life. It's called the salsa. <laughs> You know, as a matter of fact, you know what I'm talking about, it's two steps forward, ching, ching, and one step back. You know what I'm talking about? But you know, we're Latinos, we like to do it together. So, on your feet. Oh, 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 get over it. You knew what you were getting me, look at, check him out. Man, not me. Oh. They're looking and saying, I don't know how to do the salsa. That's okay, we're teaching you. Everybody face that wall. All right, because you've done this your whole time in life. It's, it's two steps forward. Go ahead. Two steps forward. Now, you got to get the hip going. Ching, ching. Got it? Ready? One, two, three. Ching, ching. And one step back. Yeah, yeah. And it's two steps forward. Ching, ching. And one step back. Oh, we got it. Two step forward. Ching, ching. And one step back. See? You did it. But notice something. It was a lot more fun to do it together than do it alone. How many of you, when you were doing, you know, practicing this outside home, I would take the, the take your tie off. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. You know what we all did at home when we were learning? <laughs> well, I break it. 